Well, the surgery to part of or all the colon or the large intestine is called a colectomy, and there are many types of colectomy surgeries. The type of surgery and how much the colon is removed based on the disease and the extent of damage to the large intestine. In the proctocolectomy, the colon is removed along with the rectum. The term procto refers to rectum. With both the colon and the rectum removed, the body will need a new way to dispose of stool. For most people with inflammatory bowel disease, either ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease, a proctocolectomy also means the creation of an ileostomy. When part of the small intestine is brought through the abdomen to create a stoma, it is called an ileostomy. Therefore, the stool can be passed through the stoma and is received in an ostomy device worn on the outside of the body. The ileostomy can be temporary or permanent. J-pouch surgery is an ileopouchanal anastomosis, which is done along with proctocolectomy or after proctocolectomy. In this surgery, the last part of the small intestine, called the terminal ileum, is sewn together in the shape of a J and can then hold stool for a period of time, serving like a rectum. Ileoanal anastomosis is done to restore the ability to move stool through the anus. In this surgery, after the rectum and colon are removed, the small intestine is connected directly to the anus. In the total colectomy surgery, entire colon will be removed. Unlike proctocolectomy, the rectum is not removed in this surgery. A total colectomy with partial or complete rectum left in place may be done in certain cases of either Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. In a partial colectomy, part of the colon is removed and it may also sometimes be called a subtotal colectomy. A partial colectomy may be done for certain patients with Crohn's disease, while it is also done to treat colon cancer or diverticulitis. This surgery is never done for the patients with ulcerative colitis, since the disease will often recur in the healthy section of the colon that is left. In hemicolectomy surgery, either the left or the right part of the colon is removed. In a right hemicolectomy, the cecum, ascending colon and a portion of the transverse colon are removed, along with the appendix is attached to the ascending colon. Whereas in a left hemicolectomy, the descending colon and part of the transverse colon are removed. In this surgery, typically the healthy sections of the colon are connected together. Therefore, an ostomy is not required.